All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakradash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Rule Well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing the true doctrine across the four winds of the earth in all truth and in sincerity. Of Lamad Ariyah, and to my left, Shaquat. And uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, we're going to go into a quick lesson. Basically, just showing there's nothing new under the sun. Things that were before are going to come back to pass again, man. Just a, a different time, a different era. But, you know, it's still the same concept when it comes to the wicked, okay, to the righteous, evil, good. You know, it's going to be those same people in reincarnation coming back again, man. And two-thirds of our people are coming back in reincarnation reincarnation and going to be doing the same things that they did in the past man when it comes to serving these idols these other gods you know steady departing from Yahweh Shai to fulfill their lust to pleasure themselves and just to have some type of comfort in this devil's kingdom man so we're gonna go and get into the scriptures and Lord willing this is edified okay this is first Maccabees 1 verse 10 and there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus or Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, son of Antiochus the king, who had been a hostage at Rome. He had reigned in the hundred and thirty and seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. In those days went there out Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow right and a lot of these wicked men are going to be these especially when it comes to israel are these particular you know camp leaders within israel these particular preachers in these mega churches your community leaders you know um just just people in general who have some particular influence right and um who are under that 501c3 charter they're gonna encourage people just like they did during the time of the the jump shot okay the demic to go get that uh that jab you know to go to the free throw line so when this when the uh motb is implemented okay when it's um mandatory these wicked men who have a following in their congregation who have an influence in their community they're going to encourage people to go and get this Caragua, man, because it's the only way you're going to be able to, as it said in uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter, to buy, sell, and trade, you know, to be able to go here and there, to be able to pay your bills, you know, to be able to have any kind of digital monetary system implemented to where you can buy things. You know, because the money, the the the, the petrol dollar, okay, the fiat, it's going to be obsolete. It's going to be nothing, man. Everything is going digital. And that's the reason why this Karagma is going to be have such an impact. Because everything is going to be documented and uh, uh, stored in this particular grain of right side device. Okay, it's going to have your medical history, your driving license number, your financial status you know whether you have uh the carbon footprints and have done too much ate too much went too many places you know whether you're um a violent person you know it's gonna be your everyday life documented and monitored by uh the devil man social credit score yep you know yeah so what the brother's saying like it's not far-fetched because you had something like this went on some years ago this was like an article I had saved in my uh, list. Is this from May 2006 from the End Times Report? It says secret FEMA plan to use pastors as pacifiers in preparation for a martial law. And I think like the total number was like about 5,000. Mm. It says nationwide initiative trains volunteers to teach congregations to obey the government during seizure of guns, property, and forced inoculations and forced relocation. So now you don't really hear about that nowadays, but even though it might be still so-called dormant, it's not to say that it's, you know, completely over with. So what they really doing behind closed doors nowadays, right. especially when Esau really trying to implement his NWO, you know? 
Good. So you already know these different pastors, including the ones of our people know they are Israelites, are definitely engaged with Esau Edom to establish this great reset, you know? Right. So um yeah, I got a scripture right here for you. First Corinthians 14 32. It says, and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So this is a process of reincarnation, how the prophets are always going to come back within their lot. So how much more on the left hand side of these wicked, you know, false pastors, you know, two thirds of our people, they're going to come in their same lots as well. Right. And remember our people stated, oh, yeah, how shall I get crucified? Let's blood be on us and our children. That's right. So that same generation is back here again through the process called reincarnation, you know? Come Right, so we're again back in First Maccabees. Huh. All right, so back in First Maccabees one, get to the point verse uh, twelve. It says, "So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen." Right, and see, when the, these licenses, man, you got okay. Back in the slavery days, you know what I'm saying? The 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 master would give one of his slaves who's going to be a messenger he would give him a written piece of paper pretty much was a document a license that gave him permission to make this uh this th deliver this message man and if the slave patrol run up on him instead of them you know snatching him up you know taking him back to the plantation they would read that letter that license that that that, that uh permission slip and get him a pass, man. It was like a hall pass. It was a hall pass, you know? So fast forward back to now you got license in your uh, wallet, man, a pocket, a purse, or whatever you got. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you get pulled over, if you don't have it, you're gonna get a ticket, possibly go and take him to jail mm -hmm. till they do some processing to see who you are, or they'll let you go, That's you right. know? And, and the modern day police are nothing but slave patrol. Okay, now when it comes to this karagma, it's gonna be the same thing. You take the karagma, even though you sign in your your death uh, slip, you're gonna have particular benefits from it. Able to go here, go there, you know. The brother had uh, did the video where he had the vision, where him and two more brothers was uh, put uh, approached by a police and, and they were scanning for the for the karagma to see if they had it. You know, of course, said through the spirit, how about me outside? The scandal was messing up. It as looked that they was good, you know. But the uh, one particular brother in this uh, vision actually had already taken it, man. But the point is, that's going to be your your so-called livelihood in this world because you're going to be able to maneuver with it, right. okay? But at the same time, you have taken a covenant. Like it said in verse 11, you know, you have taken the covenant with the heathen. You know, because why? At the end of that verse, it said, for which in uh, Maccabe Mac first Maccabees chapter one, verse 11, for since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So a lot of people are gonna try to hold out, man. But that sorrow gonna come in because the comfort is gonna leave. Yep, convenience. The convenience is not gonna be there. Yep. You know, not able to have necessity is not gonna be there. And people are gonna say, what? Let us go, man, let's go down here mm -hmm. to this, this, this chipping station. And, and, and take this uh, Karagma, man. That's right. And we already saw the prelude, like with the jail. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so many people were saying what they wasn't going to do. Yeah. And when Esau start placing those uh, draconian measures more and more with the jobs and stuff like that, they folded. More people, right, more people start folding, man. So how much more would that knockout punch? Yeah, you yeah. Know, which is the Karagma. And that, and that, and that, 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 that C nine demic, mm -hmm. that was still wiggling room, mm -hmm. you know. But people was not willing to have faith, man. First of all, that's the whole thing. There was no faith of Yahweh Bashimi Shah. You know, that the world that the Lord was going to take care of them, man. Because the Lord wasn't dealing with them. And and they had more fear of what they was gonna lose in the society than what they was risking by taking it, man. A lot of people gonna drop dead because of that shit. You know? Suffering now, blackouts. You know, well, all, all these athletes having these what the, what, the, what that shit called them um, heart failures, mm -hmm. uh, con congestive mm -hmm. heart failure, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. A lot of people are suffering from that 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 jump shot, man. And these are people, who should, you know, in the best top shape. Right. And these young people at that, you know, 
So these people let their impatience and complacency get the best of them. Yep. And you saw the consequences of that. We're seeing, seeing the consequences nowadays of it. Good. All right. So uh, it says right here, First Maccabees 1 and 12. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Whereupon they built a place of exercise in Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen. They made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. And that's pretty much they're going to, just like back in the day when Israelites would try to uncircumcise themselves, doing all matter of wickedness just so they can, you know, do like the Grecians or the Romans, you know, to, to be able to be accepted. You know saying of these other nations man Israelites are going to go And uncircumcise themselves by what By taking this Karagwa man By leaving the covenant of Yahweh by Shimei You know what I'm saying And going to take a covenant with the heathen yep. Believing in this devil But the scripture said woe to him to go down to Egypt for help You know The lack of faith of our people The lack of understanding Is going to be Catastrophic man Yeah they're going to destroy themselves, man. You know, because the devil is the devil, man. He can put on a bow tie. He can put on a suit. He can put on a robe, a small hat, whatever, man. His actions never change. They only get worse. Right. But he is not seeking to help the people, man. He's seeking to destroy the people, especially you Israelites. You know, separate you from your power because he has an agenda. A setting up the NWO where he is going to be God of the earth, man. Right. And like you said, like he's he's getting worse, you know, by the second. Now you think about it through the spirit, like Esau knows, as the scriptures say, he got a boy a short time. So he's really trying to implement this NWO. So he feels like if he can't get it, then no one can, you know, get this, which yeah. is a blessing. So Esau going to be fully tapped in, first and foremost, by the spirit of Yahweh by Shem El on that left hand side. Like we're gonna see the anger of Yahweh by Hashem El Shai upon his vessel of dishonor. That's right. You know? And this is Isaiah 28 and 15. Because you have said we have made a covenant with death. And this is speaking about two thirds of our people have made Pharaoh and Egypt, you know, their trust, you know, their, their belief system. And at the end of the day, the consequences of that is gonna be your shame, you know? And it says, and with hell are we in agreement when the overflowing scourge should pass through and should not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. So you're going to be lying to your congregation about the benefits of accepting the Karama. Just like you see certain preachers and pastors, they did the same thing with the prelude, which was a jab. And look how many people got sent to the spiritual realm by following after these false pastors. Yeah. You know, those are really those dumb dogs that cannot bark. Because they're engaged with that 501c3 tax exemption. Yeah. So a true shepherd or a pastor, they're going to warn you no matter what the consequences are. You know, that's, that's right. why the scriptures say how the Lord, he's going to give you pastors according to his heart. That's right. You know, we'll jump down to verse 18. It says, and your covenant with death should be disannulled, which means it's going to be voided out. That contract that you made with Esau, Edom, he's going to discard you like he does those different rap artists or singers yeah. that made that uh, contract, the 360 contract. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's he going to shelf you. And at the end of the day, he's really going to kill you because Esau don't really, you know, believe a sellout. He don't trust you like that. Um, and it says, and your agreement with hell should not stand when the overflowing scourge should pass through. Then you should be trotting down by it. You know? I got one for you, bro. And, you know, you can break it down. And this could be the end of it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 14, starting verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image... And receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall torment, be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Yep. So these gonna be the end results of following after the Esau Edom. Which means that you follow after death because to be quarterly minded, which is really the DNA within Esau that's that's leading after death. But we're following after life, which is Yahweh by Hashem El Shai. And through Yahweh Shai, this is how we gotta go through that straight gate by saying no to no not accepting the mark, his image, you know, his beast, you know, this system, you know. 
Okay. Because according to Proverbs 4 chapter in the 14 verse, it says, enter not into the path of the wicked. So you, you're supposed to avoid these type of evil men. Yeah. Because what they bring out, they bring out that wine of violence. What's that wine of violence? That Babylonian wine, which is anti Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know? Okay. Um, okay. That's it for me and my evil boy. Well, hey, that's it, brothers. Hey, and Lord willing, this video is edifying to the elect and pleasing to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to our apostles, elders, great millstone, and Ruel. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom.